<laughs> People, here we are again. Yes. Trying to have a little fun. Well, I'm Elizabeth, and this is Chris, and we are Lizzie Gator, and we are a venue, and we basically created this venue for the girl that doesn't feel at home at other places, and you can come here and create your fantasy wedding, your dream wedding, your uh, storybook wedding, whatever you want. If you haven't found a home, I think Lizzie Gator is the home for yeah, home for, for the people that just need a space to come be themselves and be supported in their ideas. So the great thing that I, I the reason why I wanted to, to film this today is because this spirit of creativity that we have at this place with these people is nothing I've ever experienced in DFW. And I've lived here for 20 years. Oh, thank you. So <laughs> I wanted to talk about like what an amazing atmosphere they've created here um, not just with their art but with who they are as people and today we are obviously doing um, a theme what is our theme today Alice in Wonderland with a touch of steampunk right yeah yeah and we've kind of taken this element all throughout the space all throughout the characters when we get our ideas together I've noticed that by the time we get to our set design and our creative direction it's like bar none, like the coolest thing ever. Like the, the photos come out great. Everybody's excited to be here. Everybody's actually always left with a, a, a renewed spirit of hope through this creative process. I am Kate, I'm with Rain Florist. You can see my face, but <laughs> um, I'm decorating here at Lizzie Gator because it's amazing. I have done several events out here and I can have a lot of creative freedom and we come up with some really, really great ideas. This is going to be the, the arch. This is a piece that Lizzie Gator owns and so a lot of her brides and grooms use this piece here as a backdrop and um, it can be done with either the artificial or we do the fresh with it. So I did a little combination of both. She's got the artificial that was already on it so I'm just going to kind of zhuzh it up a little and I'm just giving it a little more color because we're going for lots of fun color in this, in this sheet. part of uh, Lizzie Gator for quite a few months now and we just like to create together so we just communicate about ideas that we have com common interests really and see how we can help each other out using our shared talents yeah and that's why I love her <laughs> something else and then I just broke it I was like that, that's kind of cool it's like a little extra charm what are you dressing us today Honestly, I don't even know. I was just told to show up in this jacket and vest because the last photo shoot that I was present for, I was wearing it. And so he said, wear that. And I was like, all right. This is actually from a thrift store. She found it. And it's very, like, black parade, but make it blue. Oh, that looks yeah. great. Um, I'm going to be the Cheshire Cat today. Um, she's my, or he, excuse me, is my favorite character out of Alice in Wonderland because he's a lot like I am. He's very goofy and mischievous, so I thought it would be perfect with my attitude. As far as the dress, I don't typically go with the standard dress dress, like the, um, the fancy dress, even though the theme of it is more elegant. Um, the Cheshire Cat's supposed to be a little off anyway, so I kind of went with more of the rockabilly style with the, the elegance being more bows. Depending on which version you look at, he has purple or pink. So um, I would decide to go with the purple and the pink. And so I just kind of wanted to put a modern twist on the, the Cheshire Cat and put my own spin on it. So I met Jen many, many years ago. She had invited me out here um, 
to do the Frankenstein bride wedding cake and I did the food for that event. So today I made cookies and I get to dress up as the Mad Hatter and actually participate, so I'm really excited. When Jen offered me the opportunity to be the Mad Hatter, it really um, clicked with me because Alice in Wonderland is number one of my favorite books. Mad Hatter is one of my favorite characters because to me, he and I really um, have a lot in common. So it's like he's this beautiful light soul that really loves people, really cares for people. But this darkness just, you know, like enshrouded him. So the inspiration for the, the costume was you start at the bottom and it's like this darkness and you kind of see the light coming through, through the stockings. And then the closer you get to the top, then you have the white on the hat with the, the color that just really like shows his light as he comes through, so. The great thing is, is today we had so many people bring their own items their own creativity and together we styled everything but we just really have some, I think we have something really special yeah, here yeah, and I, uh, I agree I think we make a great trio but it's been a joy to work with Jen and getting to know her and uh, she gets us and I get her all this wouldn't be happening without her uh, amazing experience that she brings of all these years we're new to this this is we are babies at it and so I depend on her knowledge <laughs> and her experience because we can build anything, but this wedding industry and the party industry is all brand new to us. So I depend on her knowledge and uh, she's great, you know. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> They're always building something or getting their hands dirty with something. And I think that's what's wonderful is the creative process never stops here. Mm -hmm. So it's time to just jump on in and get out here, right? <laughs>